Hi, my name is Andreas, and today, me and my partner Alwyn will be explaining the IMF First to the World Bank in a relatively short amount of time. So before anything else, we need to first understand what the IMF and the World Bank are, because even though they were made in, in the exact same place, at the exact same date, and formed by the ADS in the exact same agreement, they are by far very, very different, and what they do how they help individual countries, and how they help the world as a whole are very different from each other. The IMF, or International Monetary Fund, was founded in the year 1944, but was only recognized as an autonomous organization in 1945, and only began operations in 1947. There were 31 member countries at the time of its founding, but this has eventually ballooned to 188 countries which out of 196 countries in the entire world is a lot considering there are only 8 countries left who have not yet joined the IMF. Freeze! The 8 countries have to be Andorra, Cuba, Liechtenstein, Monaco, North Korea, Palestine, Taiwan, and the Vatican. Countries who have joined this fund contribute funds, which is basically a portion of their earnings as in the economy, through a quota system, which then countries with failing economies can then borrow funds from in order to improve and stabilize their economy. But what do they actually do? The IMF's main goal is lending. This financial assistance enables countries to rebuild their international reserves, stabilize their currency, continue paying for imports, and restore conditions for good economic growth. The IMF highlights possible risks to stability and advises on needed policies, sort of like surveillance. When you borrow money from the IMF to help your failing economy, you are subject to the IMF's conditionality, which is a set of conditions that the IMF places in order to make sure that sooner or later, one way or another, you will pay back the fund that you borrowed. You may be like, oh hey, how on earth are agreements a sure way to get their money back? The answer to that is quite simple actually. You see, these IMF messages special people have special ways to find out if you are implementing said policies or for the countries with your money elsewhere. If they find out you're doing something wrong through their special surveillance, they withdraw all their money and never lend you money again. This is a sure way to make sure your economy crashes and burns in hell forever. Now the World Bank is not a bank in the ordinary sense but rather a partnership to help reduce poverty and support development of other countries. The World Bank is comprised of two institutions managed by the 187 member countries, the IBRD and the IDA. The IBRD aims to reduce poverty in middle-income and credit-worthy countries, while the IDA focuses exclusively on the world's poorest of countries. Established in 1944, just like the IMF, the World Bank is headquartered in Washington, D.C., also like the IMF, with over 9,000 employees in over 100 locations. The World Bank offers low-interest loans, interest-free credits, and grants to developing countries. Now, these support education, health, the public administration, infrastructure, financial and private sector development, and environmental and natural resource management in those nations. Now, since you probably didn't understand anything we just said, I'll lay it down in simpler terms along with the help of Mr. Krabs. The IMF provides a country with loans and helps build policy programs that solve balance of payment problems, though the IMF is heavily criticized since loans coming from the IMF have many terms with conditions, which eventually results to the country paying with a rather large interest rate. The World Bank, on the other hand, aims at long-term economic development and aims to reduce poverty in developing countries. World Bank support helps countries fix their inefficient economic sector and implement specific projects such as healthcare centers and schools or making clean water and electricity more widely available. And that's about it! Thanks for watching. Bye.